so change it if it isn't. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Good? Um, <laughs> I love you. Um, so before I wanted to start, I wanted to share a story of um, past Sunday, Pradeepan um, was teaching us in our monthly meetings, and he discussed a concept where he loves people to grow, and he asked people to take his job, right, Pradeepan? You want people to grow and take your position eventually, you know. So I've had a dream for like four years of, you know, ever since Pastor Tim told me, you know, uh, you, you got it in you to own a church, and maybe maybe we can expand momentum and make a momentum on a Thursday in the future. You never know. We can expand. But <laughs> um, my, my story is called uh, In Season, Out of Season. I want to preach on um, the differences between um, how we experience life when we're feeling like we're in season and when we're out of season. And the key verse that I have for this is Proverbs 1130, which basically says, he who is wise wins souls. And uh, this is something that Pastor Tim, the lead pastor of this church, if you don't go here on Sundays, he told me in 2012, he said, I, I believe this verse is for you. It's, it's on my heart to tell you that this is, this is for you to remember and to always uh, carry with you as you talk with, um, talk with anybody you, you um, meet in your life. Just remember that um, wise, wise people actually are the ones that lead people to God. And it's not about money. It's not about success or fame. And I have to remember that. And my first point that I wanted to go over is um, out of season, out of excuses. And uh, that basically means uh, something that I went through. I used to go through a habit of telling myself, um, well, this is my off season, so I'm going to relax and take a, take a break, take it easy for my, you know, my responsibilities. And what happens is you only focus on yourself and you forget about um, what, what the needs of others and, and what, you, what you should be doing for others. And this causes you to withdraw, and it begins to feel natural to where your res- relationships and your responsibilities, uh, they, they stay at a distance. And this is where you tell yourself, you know, it's nice to be away from civilization. It's nice to have the thought of building a house in a forest where I can just live by myself and not talk to anybody. <laughs> But um, I had to escape this, and it was hard because sometimes I wanted to be away from everybody. I wanted to be away from you sometimes. I wanted to be away from um, my parents because I just, I don't know why. I just didn't want to be around people sometimes, you know. And that, I feel like that's a good characteristic of being out of season is um, your responsibilities and your relationships suffer. And to get out of this, um, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. This is important. Um, procrastinating is a big deal, which leads into my second thing I wanted to share. There's, there's two things in life that kill dreams, kill passions, you know, kills effectiveness every minute of the day, and that is fear and laziness. These two things hold everyone back. Every situation you can think of, fear and laziness um, come in. Just think about it, you know. The fear, the fear of rejection and the laziness of execution stop people from winning. And that's upsetting because I wonder how many people haven't been shown the love of Christ due to mine and and our fear of rejection. Think about how many how many people we've seen and and we could we we know we could say something, but if they look at us weird, we kind of just shake it off and say, nah, they'll be fine. I've done that. I did that two weeks ago. (laughs) And I'm not perfect. That's why I'm preaching this to myself because I need it. I really need to be reminded that the fear of rejection and the laziness of execution is stopping me from winning. And I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose out. I don't want to lose people. You know, and I want to be, be like the athletes that Corinthians speaks about, where they, where they win the race for the crown. And think about it. This is the funny thing about athletes. They train out of season to be prepared in season. So think about, you know, imagine if we spent our out-of-season weeks honing the gifts God gave us so that if we were in season we would be more effective, just like these athletes. I want to be like that. I want to win people so bad. And the last thing that I've noticed as to why people feel like they're out of season is because they feel like they just don't have enough time to be effective. So there's this picture I wanted to share that has been in my heart since March. Um, and this is a breakdown of the excuse, I don't have enough time. And I did this for so many years. 
I, I said that I don't have enough time. It's not going to happen because I don't have enough time. And this speaks to me. So I sat down a couple weeks ago and I wrote down every hour of my week. I, just, I needed to be focused. And here's what I found. Here's what I found. I broke it down by the exact hour. And I, I found that I was working 48 hours a week, which is okay. It's too much. Okay, it's not okay. It's too much. I'm working 48 hours, <laughs> eating, showering, and reading 10 hours a week. Five hours at the gym, which is my worst one. It's awful. I went like once in the last two weeks. So, okay, that's the worst one. <laughs> I'm at church somewhere around six hours a week. I sleep 49 hours a week, average. And that's like a full week. I think that's a pretty good week. But here's where the miracle comes in. How much time did I find I had left to pursue my God-given dreams? 50 hours. I had 50 hours left. This is, this is your window. This 50 hours is your window to success. Spend this time wisely every week and you'll win. I want you to win. I want you to win. I want you to win at life. And the last thing I just want to say before I take up too much time, don't let outside circumstances or feelings determine what your life will look like. Be a winner. Be a winner. Be a winner. The fear of rejection and the laziness of execution is stopping people from winning. That's it. God bless. That was really good.